Senator Bernie Sanders remains at the top of the college students' presidential preference list. According to the latest Chegg College Pulse election tracker, leads by 47 percent. The next person on the list is Elizabeth Warren at 19 percent. Joining us now to discuss the latest polling results and more on the election tracker's mechanics is the head of research for Chegg Incorporated, Bonnie Brown. She joins us now via Skype. Great to have you, Bonnie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, so Sanders leads the pack. Talk to us about the trend. Has he increased his lead because he's been uh, the favorite for quite a while now? Has he increased his lead or has it stayed relatively steady? Uh, no, we just have a new poll out that we just got last night, and he has increased his uh, position. So he's now at 50% of college students are supporting Sanders. And we're seeing that his, his support is really across the different segments. He's getting men and women. He's getting, uh, you know, black, Latino uh, white voters, um, uh, uh, LGBTQ. Uh, so he, he has very strong support across mm -hmm. all segments. Bonnie, are we able to do have any insight into the issues that are driving the support? What is it student debt? Is it climate? Is it the economy writ large? What do we know about these students and what they prioritize most when they're picking their candidates? Yeah, that has that. I'm so glad you asked because with college students, we've seen this for a while. There is one thing that really unites them, that really worries them, and that is climate change. So that is by far nationally the biggest issue that students worry about. Uh, the second is income inequality, you know, the dividing, uh, the, the growing divide between rich and poor. So those are the two issues that are definitely driving people's interest and, and certainly explains a lot of the interest in Sanders. And so go down the, the line for us. So Sanders is at 50 percent. What are the numbers after that? And also, what time period was this um, polling done? Was it pre-New Hampshire, post-New Hampshire, a mix? Just give us those details. Yeah, it was a little bit of a mix. So um, for instance, Yang dropped out in the middle. So this was uh, through that period. So a little bit of pre and a little bit of post. So we'll, you know, next week we'll have another uh, cleaner read. Um, but Bernie Sanders came in at 50 percent. So he augmented his lead by 3 percent. And then the second place, Warren, who had been polling very strongly, uh, she uh, lost a little bit of, of um, her support. Uh, so she's down at 18 percent now. That, those two were very close together at one point. Um, and now we see such a divide there. Wow. Um, yeah, that's really and, mimics. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And then Andrew, Andrew Yang, who really excited college students, you know, coming out of nowhere, they seemed to really uh, were attracted to his fresh fresh approach. And um, he still was polling at 10%, but he's gone down. And so right. that's probably the mid polling where he dropped out. Right. Uh, Buttigieg, right? 8% um, in our poll nationally. So Buttigieg may be more uh, very strong regionally, but we'll have to really see where he goes nationally. Mm -hmm. And so Bonnie, do we have any insight into Nevada in particular? Because as I understand it, there's quite a big university population in Nevada, University of Las Vegas, I know in Reno. Uh, as well. What are some of the micro data that we have out of Nevada and who they support? So those are the next polls that we're running. So we have not run those polls yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do see that uh, nationally um, and the coasts in general, when we've looked at more at the, that regional level, uh, we think it's going to line up a little bit closer to what we see with Bernie Sanders really strong and maybe Buttigieg not as strong, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah, let's talk about in Iowa, New Hampshire, Pete actually did much better with college students than he's performing nationally. What do those numbers break down like? Yeah, so in our poll, this was prior to the um, to the caucus, uh, Buttigieg had 19 percent support. So, you know, more than double what he had in the national poll. And in New Hampshire, he polled at 23 percent. So actually, our college students were uh, you know, quite in line with how it actually turned out in the election. Hmm. Wow. So, I mean, I'm, do you have any insight into issues that might have made that different? Was it just a campaign organization? Yeah, no, it's a really great question. And we do think that uh, students there, uh, right, they're more moderate probably mm -hmm. than um, in some of the, the coastal areas. Right. Uh, so we believe definitely that. And also in, um, uh, we know that immigration was a bigger issue in New Hampshire than it is huh. nationally. Uh, so that may have been uh, a difference for Buttigieg versus Sanders. Oh, very very interesting. interesting stuff, Bonnie. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's so great Thank to you, have Bonnie. these insights. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Enjoyed it. All right. Next, Bye -bye. next on Rising, friend of the show, Sam Cedar, shares his perspective of the results in New Hampshire. That's next.